Hello everybody, welcome to Short Shot Archery, Anthony here, and in this video we're going to answer the question, old string versus new. Is an old string really that bad to use? Let's find out. Before we get into actually testing this old string versus the new string that's on my bow currently, I want to break down you know, what makes this an old string, what makes the one on my bow currently a new string, and, you know, are they the same string? <laughs> For the old string here, this string is a year old. Uh, it's shot indoor season, it's shot outdoor season, it has traveled across the United States shooting USAT events, USA Archery Team events. Um, it's put its work in. It has over 60,000 arrows shot on it, and the center serve itself has been replaced a few times because they wear out faster than the actual strings uh, do. So, to take that into note, uh, this material is BCY Spectra and it is 20 strands. Now, for the new string, ah, this string has not seen a year of use. Uh, this string has seen uh, maybe about a week, less than a week of use. Um, it only has a couple hundred arrows on it. We'll say somewhere around 200 shots. Um, just enough to get it, you know, working and making sure everything's doing what it's supposed to do. <laughs> uh, make sure the knocking points are staying set and things like that. It has never been reserved, so this is the original serving on it. And the string is fresh, basically as fresh as it can be. Uh, Lengthwise, both these strings, the new and the old, are identical. Uh, this also has 20 strands and it's BCY Spectra. Uh, other than that, the main difference is, is one's old and seen a year worth of use, and the one is not. So now let's see uh, what the effect is of a string that is aged compared to this fresh one right here. So first, we're going to talk about the feel and the look of the strings. We'll start with the new string since it's already on my bow. Uh, it feels a lot smoother. It still feels uh, nice and waxy because, well, it was just recently put together. Uh, the servings on it are still fresh and just overall looks it looks new and it still looks uniform in color as you're going to see with the older string uh, there's going to be some some changes in it but as you can see if you look all the way up and down this string the material still looks black and it looks like it's you know well maintained now for the look and feel of the old string uh, as you can probably see dark spot light spot dark spot light spot dark spot light spot um, it's not really uniform. Some of this is from, uh, you know, destringing the bow and then folding up the string nicely so that it fits in my case to travel somewhere. But uh, some of these lighter spots have just just worn more, and they're just not as they're not as fresh. Um, even though I do wax this string and it is fairly waxy, there is a lot of just dry spots in it where the fibers are just not as fresh and as moist as they uh, you know used to be or I guess wax not really moist as they used to be um, the string itself is still pretty uniform and round but it definitely doesn't have that that freshness to it as the new string does uh, you know for some reason well we know the reason because the new string just came off the press it is definitely a lot rounder and a lot more solid, a, a, a more, uh, you know, continuous piece of string. As to this, you can see the individual fibers, the st individual strands in it a lot more. And you can even see some of the, the flakiness that's coming uh, off of here. It's starting to get fuzzy. Uh, besides that, uh, the center serve, even though it has been reserved, you can definitely see uh, the wear and tear uh, that is on it. This one probably has uh, a few thousand shots in it since it's been, uh, you know, replaced. Generally, for me, 
I find that uh, the the top and bottom of of my knocks, you know, above and below them, they seem to get matted down from just the continual, uh, you know, drawing and shooting of the bow uh, with the finger tab. It really starts beating on uh, the serving itself. Also, from the continual placing of knocks clicking onto the string, you actually do start wearing into the center serve that's in between your knocking points. And these things happen to all strings uh, with time. And you can definitely see that this one has seen its days. But that still leads us into the question of, is this old string really done? Like, is it not performing up to the same standard as a new one? And that is something we're gonna try to answer in the next section as we test uh, these two strings. Um, I'm looking to do a speed test. I'm going to be doing just a test of me just shooting the two and then hopefully some kind of grouping test where maybe we can see a difference in the groups because of the string and just one, you know, maybe not staying as uniform as, or as consistent because it's worn out and tired. Or we're just going to get totally surprised and this old string here is going to truck along just as good as the new one and I'm going to go, oh, why did I spend all that time, you know, uh, making a whole new string. But we will see because I really don't know the answer. My guess would be the, the new one is better, but we'll find out. Okay, so for this test, I'm just going to shoot the bow. Uh, right now I have uh, the old string on the bow and we're just going to see how it feels, shoot a couple shots and then put the new string on and shoot a couple more shots and see if I can really feel a difference between uh, the two strings. Hmm. Alright, not too bad. That was three pretty good shots out of there, and I uh, felt like a string. We'll see if it, uh, you know, if it's a noticeable difference when I put the brand new string on this bow and shoot the same three arrows. All right, so now I'm going to shoot the new string. Got those first three arrows I shot with the old one. I got those arrows back, and we're going to shoot the same three arrows with the new string, and uh, see how that goes. See if I notice a difference right away. All right, crisper. Um, the other interesting thing is, is the string, you know, when you have you know, your finger tab on, you're drawing it back, it feels fuller in your fingers, more, more rounded. Again, we, we could see some of these, you know, characteristics when, you know, just comparing the two you know, for how beaten the old string is compared to how fresh the new string is. Um, I don't know if there's an actual speed difference, but that will be for the next test. Let's just, let's shoot two more. See how it goes. Hmm. Interesting. Now, you know, it could have been my shooting uh, from before, but uh, those first three arrows uh, did go to the right with the old string and it looks like you know, it is 70 meters all the way down there uh, it looks like these arrows so far I have one to go out of the new string are actually more center they might be a little high so kind of interesting how you know the string might be affecting uh, how the arrows fly down range or how you know I kind of react to the string because because of how it feels in my hand and how it rolls off uh, my finger tab and such when I release. Uh, maybe that's also playing an effect into you know, how the arrows are gonna group down there. And of course, maybe we'll get a better idea on that with the grouping test. We'll, we'll see how that one goes. Huh, yeah, that is pretty funny. They did, <laughs> they did go less right which is really interesting. 
Uh, well, we're gonna move on to the next test. We're gonna check out the speed and see if the new string outspeeds the old string, which I think it should, just because, again, it is more uniform. But we're gonna find out. Now for the speed test. Uh, with this test, we shot uh, the new string and the old string through the chronograph. Uh, we did five readings for each and then took the average. So starting with the old string, uh, we got 193 feet per second, which is pretty quick. It's doing pretty good. Almost 200 there. So now uh, it's time to test out the new string and see what that had to offer. And it came to 197. So uh, the new string is a little bit faster than the old one. And I kind of expected that. Now, I have heard some people in the past claim, oh, well, the new string is going to be slower than an old string because the old string doesn't have as much wax on it, so it should move faster. That does not seem to be the case. Uh, maybe we can make another video in the future actually trying to have a string that has no wax on it and see how it works compared to a string that has wax on it. It's an idea. Now, for our last test, we're just going to do probably what we should have did from the start. We're just going to see if the new string or the old string shoots a better group. So I have the whoop, new string on my bow already. And uh, I'm going to go shoot some groups with this and see how they look. And then I'm going to go and slap the old string back onto this bow and shoot some groups with it and see how they look and see if there is a difference in the group sizes. I'm shooting 10 arrows here. There's a bit of a variety in the veins I'm using, but still, uh, we should get a pretty good idea. We'll just kind of follow where the, the best groups seem to be and how tight they seem to be. Uh, this should be interesting. Okay, so we just got done shooting uh, the new string. This is the old string. Uh, we'll shoot a couple groups with this, see how it goes, and then we'll compare the two after this. Uh, the new string definitely seemed to keep the arrows in the center of the target better and I don't know the group just seemed more reliable maybe at times or you know certain arrows seem to group a little bit better um, you know than others but overall it, was, it just seemed kind of consistent yes I know I have several different vein types going on down there but the idea of it was that can we keep this mostly in the center of the target now, without changing any settings on my bow and only putting on the old string, I went and shot well, some more groups uh, with the old string, uh, again at 70 meters, and there was definitely a right drift to the bow, pretty much regardless of what I did. Um, I even had some shots where I felt like I shot a good shot, and I just... I got a weird, you know, feeling and just a weird result from, uh, you know, my equipment. And I feel like it had to do with that old string. Um, there was a couple of times I was in the blue rings and I just felt like I shot a better shot than that. So, in a sense, I felt like the old string did amplify uh, some of the poorer shots. Or maybe just kind of threw some arrows a little bit more wild, depending on maybe their vein type or, or things like that. But uh, it was interesting to see. I felt like the new string was more consistent than the old string. So that wraps up all the testing of this new string versus old string. And I think the really clear victor here is the new string. Um, it just, it feels better. It feels more round. It's just, well, new. 
Um, it also has, you know, the wax on it spread out more consistently. Uh, you know, regardless of how much I waxed that old string, it was so used, I was still getting like dry spots in it. Uh, not really the best, especially since archery is a game of consistency. You know, shooting a high score, like shooting a 10 every once in a while, is not going to beat the person that shoots nothing but 9s, especially if you shoot 8s. Archery is all about consistency and consistently putting them as close to center uh, as possible. And I think the new string does that so much better. Uh, we can see that in the grouping. Um, the old string definitely had a tendency to go right. Yes, I could adjust my sight for that, but you know, it, the bow was working fine, <laughs> uh, you know, where it was. So, you know, now I'm adjusting equipment because another piece of equipment isn't working up to, you know, its, its full potential, you know, it's, it's tired. So, uh, it, was, it was interesting to see how the groups changed. And uh, even more importantly too, arrow speed. Uh, there was a definite difference in the arrow speed. Uh, a few feet per second is definitely going to make a difference uh, downrange. And, uh, you know, it's important to have a consistent speed, too. You don't want big fluctuations in that. And my bet is we'd have a larger fluctuation in speed with the old string, depending on, you know, how it was shot and how it came off the fingers and just how the material reacted compared to the new one because um, it's so more, it's, it's more uniform. It's going to you know, react to you shooting it more consistently and then, you know, your, your speed consistency is going to be similar, which is going to result in a better consistent, you know, grouping and everything, just downrange and better results. Now, this does not answer, uh, you know, how long you should go before changing your string. Uh, maybe that's something that we could do a, a, a longer term, you know, research project kind of on. Uh, now, for this one, for this old string that I used here, I told you it was, you know, a, a year's worth of use, uh, 60,000 arrows. Uh, so in my book, that's way too many arrows to shoot on one string. Um, I would consider maybe doing 30,000, seeing where it compares to a new string. Um, maybe even like every 15,000 arrows, uh, maybe changing strings. So that would only mean for me personally about four times a year give or take, and I know that can be expensive, but, um, you know, I'm going to a lot of, you know, shoots, maybe not right now, but I'm going to shoots, and I'm trying to do my best at them, so, you know, gaining a few more points because my string is new uh, is worth the cost, especially when I'm spending hundreds if not thousands of dollars to fly and travel and just bring all my gear to these shoots, you know, I want my, I want the best result possible, and, it costs me a few dollars to make a string, and it's totally worth getting a few more points uh, downrange, especially when you're at like a USAT event and you're trying to qualify for teams and things like that. So with that, that wraps up this video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, if you have any more suggestions or anything on this topic, leave them down below. Maybe we'll make a part two if there's a, you know that much I missed or people want to see other aspects of this. You know, Maybe there's some more tests or whatever you want to see me do. Um, other than that, uh, we have new shirts at Shore Shout Archery, the Cover Your Face shirt, uh, you know, themed for the times, and uh, <laughs> you can pick them up at shoreshoutarchery.org on the website. Uh, and uh, with that, thank you to my Patreons and everybody who, uh, you know, likes the video and has subscribed to this channel. Each and every one of you are amazing, and thank you so much. And with that, as always... Happy shooting.